functions. We've reached the point, kids, where you can no longer afford the job interview process. I'm gonna say that again. I've reached the point where I can no longer afford to find work. Assuming you get past the 12,000 rounds of phone screens and Zooms and you are invited to an on-site interview, what if you don't have the money to commute? Gas money, public transit money in my case. Compound that with your interviewing for multiple places at the same time, have ended up spending over $100 to interview at two places one in East Bay and one in San Francisco on the same day. $100 just to get from point A to point B and back home. What about when they want you to do a background check or get fingerprints or if you're a teacher, you gotta go get a tuberculosis test. Who's, who's paying for you to run back and forth all over fucking town? If it's a teaching or government position, they will generally pay for the background test and fingerprints themselves, but you still have to pay the third party, i.e. FedEx office or the post office or whom. This is before you ever start. And when you've been unemployed for an extended period of time and you have interviewed on site at, let's, let's even just say 20 places, that's in excess of several hundred dollars. I couldn't afford to go to a job interview tomorrow unless somebody floated me cash. That's where I'm at. And I know I'm not alone, but nobody's fucking talking about this part of the fucking nightmare that we're living in. And all of this money zooming around from one part of the city to the other and back again with no guarantees. Nine times out of 10, not only will you not get an offer, but they will ghost you. Not even give you the courtesy of telling you, hey, we've chosen another candidate and here's why. Looking for work costs money. And when you have been unemployed for over a year and there's no unemployment, you don't qualify for disability, your mommy has given you everything she can and then some, you're already on the internet, again, begging friends and, and strangers for money. What? Then what? I've had to turn down, thankfully, only one time, but I've had to turn down an on-site interview because I didn't have the money to get there. Okay? What if that was the job? What if that was the job? Probably wasn't. But what if that was the job? So do not let people gaslight you into, like, thinking that it's not a nightmare because they're not going to shut up about this. And the unemployment numbers are a fucking farce to account people who are working two jobs or whose jobs pay below what it is to cover the cost of living. We are at the point where job searching is cost prohibitive. I have to choose between do I pay my power? Do I eat? Do I go to an interview? United States Supreme Court has just made being unhoused illegal. Be upset, be mad, be paralyzed, be anxious, be sick to your stomach, um, because that's a natural fucking reaction. This is not normal, this is not healthy, this is not sustainable, and um, start talking about it. Start talking about it.